When he graduated the eighth grade, Chris Chan's teacher, Mrs. Sanford, wrote Chris a letter. In it, she advised, you show people where your weak points are located, then they will know how to push your button. If you never show them, they'll never know. Hello, beta testers. Lately, only the Tumblr activists have been defending the ugly, almost human-shaped polygons in video games that they don't play and sure as hell don't pay for. But they'll screech at heterosexuality and whip themselves into a death threat frenzy. It's no wonder the pronoun cult has such an insufferable reputation. But something tells me their reputation precedes them, and you don't need me to illustrate how easily triggered the people projecting are. Bigot, racist, coomer seems to be all that these people know how to say, and the overuse has rendered them ineffective to even normies. Yesterday, I looked around online to see the discussion on Spider-Man 2 only to find a channel calling themselves geeks and gamers with some schmuck claiming that there is quote zero woke stuff in the main story on, on a panel of a-holes that I guess the internet has pushed to the top of gaming pundits yet zero of them actually played Spider-Man or even watched a playthrough enough to taste the cancerous pandering that Insomniac was so passionate about including that they removed it from their Middle Eastern release. Spanish was rewritten by white saviors at Insomniac who can't get a Puerto Rican flag right after three games with playable Miles Morales in it, Mary Jane is ugly for apparently zero woke reasons, and none of this sets off their geek or gamer alarm. Yesterday I made a 20 minute video that I did not ask any of you to like in its runtime, but you still did it, and you commented on it too, which pushed it way up harder than probably any video I've ever put out. You did that, beta tester. Your vote is a power that decides what tracks. A power people desperate for attention online utilize in securing as many children as they can. I ain't fucking with kids, it's not me, and it's probably not you either. I recognize that what qualifies as woke varies from person to person, but when self-described terminally online content creators jumping on team streams to sell their status as geeks are somehow oblivious to the drama that some of them have covered in separate videos, this is why Kyle is a villain. I show your sentiment, and with your help, I'll only get better at showing instead of telling. These people must be ignoring their comments as hard as they do reality because I guess people let them. I again articulate that I don't condone anyone seeking out or interacting with any of these people, but you can make your own voice heard or support people with a voice that you are about. Here's the director on why potential self-insert blobfish Mary Jane needed to be in most of the superhero Spider-Man game. I knew that those missions weren't the fan favorites um, coming out of Spider-Man 1. We knew we had to make her more of a proactive, capable person. And if she's a little OP, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. It's important to have her be a capable hero. You know, this might sound cliche or whatever, cheesy, but like, you don't need to have powers to be a hero. In the original plan, she wasn't a playable character in the last mission, but we thought, hey, can we get all three of them working as a team in that final mission? So at the very end, she's there. But yeah, she's OP, yeah, probably. She's probably OP. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. And if she's a little OP, I don't give a shit. That's Spider-Man's director who went on to say that they were planning bike riding sections for Mary Jane as well as injuring Parker to make it so she could use the web shooters. Whatever woke cheerleading that these people protecting their brand do is their own business. But I'll say this, some of the most passionate voices that you're going to be hearing a lot of soon are speaking up because a line was crossed with something that they loved. 
It wasn't a passing fancy or something they casually tried once or twice. They likely have fond memories of time shared with friends or family, long dead or now leading different lives. Maybe you know people who fought for their country, work exhausting shifts, and devote their life to the thankless task of saving other people. People with jobs that are exclusively dealing with the ugliest the world has to offer, and if they spend hundreds on entertainment devices and PCs to sit down and be entertained, only to pay and then have woke, pandering, deliberately ugly shit shoved in their face, the very least that they can fucking deserve is to go online and find people that are calling themselves geeks and gamers making the same goddamn sense and speaking the fuck up for them, not some pussy trying to appeal to kids and downplaying the severity of the issues that are ruining these games, these shows, these movies, these properties, and depreciating the value of things that collectors and achievement hunters, and this is what really gets up my ass if I gotta fucking talk about it. You're like, Alex, not in the main story, bitch. What if somebody trying to fucking complete the game? Even though it is in the main story, all that uh, El Doctor is in the main story. Miles isn't a part of the main story. People before they bought Spider-Man might have been scared that, oh shit, I'm gonna have to share too much screen time with Miles. You wanna know what nobody was thinking of? Playing fucking Mary Jane again after the first game, they made it abundantly clear they hated that to the point where the creative director in an interview now is opening his mouth to say, I was well aware. So this was the course we went because you're definitely playing Mary Jane no matter fucking what. Who are these people? And why have people been voting them anything? I don't beg y'all niggas to like my videos because I feel I need to earn that. But I guess when you're just looking for kids and NPCs, you can get anywhere online. My point quite simply as I digress is, preference is not bigotry, description is not hate. I sound like I'm preaching because it's conviction. We're not allowed choice, but these hypocrites trying to control you with shame, guilt, and statistics on how bad it is for they, them, nigga. People are finding that the words that these goblins are flinging out these days apply more to them than it does to us. So long as people tell lies to suppress and diminish the forced insertion of political bullshit that does not elevate but in fact impairs the plot, the story, the momentum, the fun. I, what's the fucking point, man? You asking people to pay for this shit? They got something for your ass. So for these little kids that wanna talk about, oh, you shouldn't say this cause that's mean about fucking polygons, a series of ones and zeros in a video game, I share because I know that you could use a laugh. Here's a joke, rock steady. There's more. So rock steady's game could easily give people what they want. <laughs> by including the same Harley Quinn from that nine-year-old game. Remember that model with the walk animations on screen so you don't have to imagine? But you know they're going to come out with one that's inferior for their uncooked Sushi Squad game. They intend to inspire desire to purchase microtransactions with objectively inferior designs. And if that's not funny enough, instead of changing this, to be what would be appealing and, and service the fans in your live service, Warner is probably just going to pay money to buy some streamers, artificially hype up their game and try to keep that motherfucker on life support. You know what I mean? They even, they already said they're only going to work on content for one year. See how it goes. Good for y'all. Good for y'all. To the ignorant cocks still typing shit like, if you don't like the battle pass, then you don't have to spend on it. I understand you're uneducated and don't recognize that the game was designed around the battle pass. What the fuck that got to do with me? You gonna boost my video by commenting that stupid shit in my foot? You know what I mean? What are you, stupid? You're stupid? <laughs> I, I can speak the truth. And it's funny. Reality is the joke. And you motherfuckers can't take it. And that's our fault. I'm here to tell you it's not my fault. Before I continue... If you can think of a YouTuber that's been avoiding something blatantly newsworthy, controversial, in fact, something that has generated outrage backlash, when they're usually just like, ooh, they're cuckoo for views like this motherfucker for Cocoa Puffs, man, realize that those people's opinions, they're bought. 
and they live on their knees, arching their back. They'll do anything, or in this case say nothing, to protect their brand, to preserve the approved propaganda opinion. So recently, Spider-Man 2's director spoke on how the team forced Mary Jane into more of the game than initially planned. I bet you didn't think out of touch on a Super Saiyan level like this existed, but how else can Mary Jane over Spider-Man in a superhero game happen? No matter how schizo you think I am or the comments that you may read online can be, we can never compare to the developers on the loose. In studios like Insomniac and Rocksteady, it's a real asylum over there, I'll stop. Ugly Harley Quinn, race swapped Deadshot, Disney's Wonder Woman who, you know, and you know why I say that, because it's like a Snow White situation with Wonder Woman, you know, damn, you know, okay, okay, and she ugly, wow, she, maybe they're trans, so I'm, I shouldn't be saying that because, you know, it's a series of ones and zeros and, and I'm, I'm being mean to the polygons because you think that they're one-to-one -one identical to their models when in fact they look closer to writers, you know what I mean? That's our fault. Our eyes don't work now, man, gaslighting reaching a whole new level, right, Motherfucker, and your best bet is to just shut people up because how dare they say anything? How dare they recognize you people? As ignorant as Insomniac's director can be towards player sentiment, they weren't stupid enough to go full Saints Row reboot with that haters gonna hate attitude until after their game launched. But just like how I was blocked by that drunk community manager who was calling people terrorists for giving Saints Row poor reviews, Rocksteady has also blocked me and gifted me a screenshot including their representation that surely won't be as hollow as the pandering from Spider-Man. Surely it won't be one-sided and exclude things like attractive women and jiggle physics, things that they used to have. They surely wouldn't be targeting evil cisgender men by removing these things that multiple persuasions enjoy, right? I only collected the data that you wanted hidden. I didn't generate it. You did that with your lackluster product that you had fuck all to show for. But beta testers, some gamers are so whipped they're playing Destiny, Overwatch, and Diablo right now. But even FIFA players would put their foot down if they tried to take the ball out of sports games. They took the balls out of entertainment too. That's why nothing's funny, everything is safe and sanitary, and I can trigger air quotes people with the word hetero in my bio. Because I understand their hypocrisy better than they do. Did you know? All I wanted was no SBMM or lobbies disbanding and casual Call of Duty lobbies, but psychopath developers killing their own game's life decided that they'd drink enough soy to say things like, we don't want to punish shooters in the shooter, and removing streamers when they say things like leave children alone. What a controversial statement. In a Game of the Year post on Reddit, even though the kid starting the thread chose Spider-Man, Spider-Man doesn't appear once in the comments. Good. Spider-Man removed that woke shit to make money in the Middle East, but I'm sure it'll be a big problem when we try to remove that woke shit when it's released on PC. You know, they do exactly what Disney did. They make changes to increase marketability in other places. Disney has submitted people to re-education by LGBT teachers for not bowing and accepting the message. And if you support them, then you support that. Some needle dick in my stream asks me why I give money to Spider-Man. It's because I can't rely on anybody to speak for me. <laughs> Maybe when people are honest, I won't have to do what I do. That I guess people must feel forced to watch these days. I completely understand from a business perspective what Disney does, even as a black man. But what I don't get is that they expect us to allow them to lecture, virtue signal, and expect backpats for preaching when it compromises the quality of everything that's being made. And there's a ripple effect that's going across the fucking industry. Fuck you, Larry Fink. Fuck BlackRock. Hold these people accountable. Brain rot is being allergic to titty. 
but trying to call people names because of how gay you are. We respect your preference. If you can't show the people the same courtesy that you are receiving, then you define intolerant. You're crossing yourself off of all future barbecue invite lists with your vegan bullshit. Incessant. Saints Row's now dead volition studio challenged fans saying things like, we won't back down. You ever think, you know what I mean? You ever think to yourself, maybe we shouldn't, we shouldn't say that. Maybe we shouldn't, man, you just, we, we're fine. We're fine releasing everything. Kill it and, and move on so that we can, we can come back in and do what we need to. Designers? So bad at their job that all they can do is appeal to other cat ladies and fucking transitioners exclusively, right? Is is that the demo that's going to profit? No. No, I don't think it is. I'm, you know, I've said to, it's 17 minutes already. I love you guys, right? But what the fuck are we doing online these days? Ugh. And the Game Awards is going to be even more woke, man. But I hope to God that at the very least, Baldur's Gate wins exclusively... So that Spider-Man 2 doesn't. I honestly feel like these people deserve to keep losing money until these people crawl out of their ass and remember whom they serve. If the East can have fun and telegraph that instantly because they can spell jiggle physics, then that's where all the billions will continue to keep going. Mihoyo and the like. Yeah, I remember when Bungie went over to Naughty Dog's multiplayer project and said, People would probably hate this and uh-oh, they shut that down. Now Bungie is laying off people. Didn't even get to my point because I think Sushi Squad getting delayed was the biggest mistake they could have made, but I'll get to it in the next video. To those of you watching, liking, and commenting, thank you so much for pushing these videos up and a special thanks to the patrons who are keeping the lights on around here. I'll, I'll package some games I think have some tricks up their sleeve for the next video and even if we're disappointed in whatever they end up being, if they end up coming out, <laughs> we can at least do that together. Bye.